to my channel. So today I'm doing this look and I used the Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette, which I've heard mixed reviews on it, but I personally think that it's amazing. Um, I thought the colors blended really nicely and I thought it was pretty easy to use and the colors are beautiful. I mean, like, look at them. It's so pretty. And like the packaging is perfect and I just love it. So yeah, um, that's what I use for this look. Yeah, so I hope you like it and it's my first video of 2016, or, yeah, 2016. It's my first video of 2017, and I'm really excited for this year. I'm excited to keep working on this channel and see where it goes, and, yeah, I just have a feeling it's going to be a really good year. You get in my intro every time, don't you? You want to say hi? Say hi. Look, say hi. <laughs> so, yeah, for this video, I only focused on the eyes. Um, I'll link everything down below that I use, though, for, like, my lips and my face. But I just wanted to focus on the eyes for this video. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. And if you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week. And, yeah, that's everything. So, <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's look, I'm using the Tardis Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm starting off with the shade Classic, which is just a really nice matte, um whitish shade and I'm putting this all over my lid so that the primer that I used is not tacky and the colors will blend nicely. And now I'm going in with the shade Indie which is a nice light mauvey purple and I'm putting this right into my crease to use as a transition shade and I'm putting this on with a blending brush from Luxie and I'm focusing it right into my crease and bringing it a little bit upwards and then I'm deepening it up deepening it up as I go to make it how I want and I also have tape on the outer corners of my eyes to make the line nice and sharp and now I'm going in with the shade Profesh which is also a purpley shade and I'm just putting that right on top of the crease color that we already have and blending that in with back and forth motions as well as circular motions to really smoke it out and give it no harsh lines and yeah again I'm just deepening that up and adding more and focusing it on the outer half or outer corner of my eye and then blending it inwards so that it's darker on the outer half of my eye and lighter inside. And now I'm going in with Fierce on a more dense brush and I'm putting this directly into my crease and not blending it out as much and also bringing it down towards my lid to make kind of a V shape and blending this out as I go and again just adding more product and blending it out and just repeating the process until it's how I look, how I like it. I can't talk today. <laughs> and then I'm just bringing that into the inner corner of my eye as well so that it's nice and blended and there's no harsh lines. And now I'm going in with the shade Vamp, which is beautiful. It's like a dark purple. And I'm putting this on with a tapered little tiny blending brush. And I'm focusing this on the outer V of my eye and putting it right on um, the outer corner and then blending it in kind of onto my lid as you can see right here and I'm just adding this on until it's as dark as I want and then I'm blending that out with a fluffier brush so that it's not as harsh and it's just more soft and there's not again harsh lines I feel like I've said that like 20 times but you don't want harsh lines and now I'm going in with this sparkly shade glam and I'm using this for my lid shade because it was kind of matte so I wanted to add some glitter and some sparkle because I just felt like I should use the matte shades and the glitter shades because I haven't used this palette yet. So I wanted to try them all. And so yeah, I'm just using this as my lid shade. Um, it's actually pretty pigmented. I'm just putting it on a dry brush. And it came off pretty pigmented. I was surprised. And now I'm going in with the shade Minx, which is like a really pretty purpley pinkish shade. And I'm putting this on the inner corner of my eye to give it a little more dimension. And so it's not just completely gold. And then I wanted to deepen up the outer corner, so I'm going back in with Vamp on a blending brush and just putting some more of that on the outer corner and blending it into the gold shimmer shade that we have. And now I'm highlighting my brow bone with the shade Classic. This is a really nice matte highlight shade and it's very pigmented and definitely very bright. And I'm also using that for my inner corner highlight to make my eyes pop a little more. And now I'm just blending that out with a big fluffy brush with no product on it. And now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Liquid Liner. I can't remember exactly what this is, but it's a liner from L'Oreal. And it's not my favorite, but um, it's the one I had with me today, so I use that one. But 
you know, it does what it needs to do. Um, it's just kind of difficult to put on, but whatever, it did the trick. And now I'm peeling the tape off because we're all done with the upper lid and putting on mascara um, before I put on false lashes. This is just a mascara from Sephora that I like to use whenever I'm using false lashes um, just to prepare them so they blend in better. And now I have my foundation and my eyebrows and everything done. Um, and I'm going in with the shade Fierce on my lower lash line to smoke it out a little more. And I'm just using a small smudger brush to put, put this on and I'm tight lining my waterline with some black eyeliner. This is just a pencil one I got I think from like Target a long time ago. And now I'm going back in with the shade Vamp on my lower lash line with the same smudger brush and then I'm blending it out with a tapered brush to give it a nice smoky effect to match the upper lid. And now I'm just going in with a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes and that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!